Hello everybody, it is Lisa here and I am doing my weekly spread for July 8th to the 14th. Now, July 14th is my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, sister. And I found this one sheet just sitting there and I love it. So I had gotten some single sheet stickers from Live Love Posh like a year ago. And you probably heard me mention I've been looking through my books in the last few couple of weeks, looking to see what I've got and trying to use up some stuff. So yeah, I found this one and yeah, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So we are gonna use it. I love Arizona. It is beautiful there because I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which is the prairies. So this one is going to go right smack dab in the middle of this page on the bottom. I live in the prairies, so I don't have a lot of mountains. I don't have any mountains. I don't have a lot of hills. I have tons and tons of trees and lakes and water. Uh, speaking of water, it is really raining right now, so you may hear some thunder. The other thing we have is farmland, so flat farmland. So I love Arizona with the red ground, like our mud is blacker than black. So the red sand, red ground, the mountains there, and then these cactus trees that pop out out of the middle of nowhere are unbelievable to me. Love them. Okay, so I am, uh, scissors. I think I'm gonna cut this little bit of white off of this one. So I'm gonna put the cactuses all along the bottom. And actually this, oh, wait a sec. I don't wanna cut off that flower. This spread actually has a little bit of meaning to me. And uh, that'll be okay. So just cut off the white, I think. Let's just say my husband and I have been looking at some houses in Phoenix. I'm thinking, is there one that's even smaller than this? There it is. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut some of the white off and fat fingers out of the way so we can see where we're putting it. I want it right in this little spot right here. There we go. And my knife. That should be straight because I didn't talk. Though this one here I can already see it's on it's not on the line. Um Oh, you know that bothers me, so I have to fix it. So you hang out there, and let's see if we can get... So, things with me are just kind of going along. My cat Daisy, who has... We just found out, like, what this will be, that would be Friday the, oh, Friday, June 28th, I think it was, that my baby girl Daisy's got diabetes, and we're just kind of trucking along now with it. 
There, that's better. It's definitely not easy. It's going to be interesting. Um, my husband, out of, being out of town for work, Monday to Friday, I'll, I actually, I have a ringette game, my first summer ringette game on Thursday the 11th. And so we give my girl her needle, her food and her needles at 8.30. And I th I'm pretty sure my game's at 9.30. So probably going to have to feed her and give her, <laughs> give her her needle a little sooner than that. But yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Like if I have a game at 7.30... I'll probably get home at, let's see, 7.30 to 8.30. I'll probably get home at 9.30. So that's not really going to work out uh, with feeding her and giving her her needle. I think I'm going to take this over right over to the side. Yeah, I like how that looks. Um, not sure about this white on the bottom here. We'll cut it off. Yeah, I may actually have to miss a game or two because of it. I don't know yet. I have to, I'll I definitely have to talk to the vet about about that. Like she is not going to like missing <laughs> being an hour late with her meal. She, I mean, of course she won't care about the needle part, but yeah, feeding her an hour later, I have to find out like how much leeway I have with this whole insulin, giving her her insulin. Hopefully, an hour won't be too, won't be an issue. To be perfectly honest, I still am not quite, not quite into my new routine here of. <laughs> Having, like, I like to sleep in. So having to get up every day and not being able to sleep in and give her her needles and feed all the cats, because all the cats now eat at the same time as her, because it's too hard to keep her away from everybody else when they're eating, and it's hard to keep them away from her when she's eating. So, yeah, it's a bit of craziness. I'm going to cut this side, too. But I wouldn't trade her in for anything. So she's actually sitting, like, she's sitting right there <laughs> with me, like she always is. It's my little helper cat. And she's just such a sweetheart. I'm thinking this one goes, will go here though. Okay, more cutting. Okay, so let's put this one in here. There. I'm putting it right on top of that other one. Okay. And. You know what? I think it's going to be just fine. I'm making it fine. So I am doing this one, this spread the week before to try and get a little bit ahead because the way things are going with me, <laughs> who knows what's going to happen next? <sighs> Having to deal with cats and ticks. Losing a cat for three days and ticks, that was not fun. And now, now having a cat with diabetes is not fun. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen next. So I'm doing this one. I, ha I found a nice quiet morning or quiet afternoon. And yeah, we're just gonna do it. This one seems crooked still, but it, I cut the edge, so that's the way it's gotta be. Yeah, something there doesn't look right to me, but this one would fit right in the middle. 
Okay, more trimming. So I'm just gonna hold this one down with my fingers. And I'm actually going to pull this sticker up. I want this sticker to go in front. I like the blue cactus. Probably, let's see. I'm gonna trim this one off. So, where is everybody's favorite places? Like I said, I love Arizona. Been there twice. Been to the Grand Canyon once. My um, aunt and uncle lived there for a while. So, my husband and I, we went out there to see them. And, yeah... Loved it, loved it, loved it. I am going to, oh, I need my ruler. Because there's no way I'm cutting this straight. pick up pick this up and pick this up oh no dang tweezers uh, I think I, oh it's not too horrible I ripped this flower a little it's pointy tweezers I'm just going to see if I can cut this little tiny bit of white out here. See if that makes a difference with the flower underneath. A little bit. Okay, that's kind of cute. I love cactuses. Cacti. Okay, so let's punch the holes out. Okay, so I punched out the holes. Got little white pieces of sticker everywhere. I don't like this here. This doesn't, this is not working for me. It, the potted plant just, yeah, just doesn't work. So I'm gonna take it off, stick it back on the sheet for now. I guess it's got to be this one. I think I might actually try cutting this. Okay, so I cut around the little flower there and trimmed off like the white, as much as the white as I could. And I am going to stick that right in there. See, that feels a little bit better to me. Okay, and that little piece that I cut off up here, so I cut it straight across and trimmed the extra white off. And I am just going to put it, I don't want it sitting on top of the two flowers. I'm just going to put it in like that. So my husband called. <laughs> and if you watch my videos, you know he's my one of my emergency contacts, him and my mom. And his calls always go through. And I forget to turn that off every single time. So I'm not exactly sure where I ended. I think I got this piece put on. I'm not sure if you saw me say I have one blue flower, one purple flower, and the leaves, and then that one that I had cut off. So what I was thinking is in Mojo Jojo Plans Jewel Tone Boxes, there are these orangey ones, which remind me of the colors 
There's also yellowy brown, but these orangey ones remind me of the sand. Is it sand or is it considered mud? I think it's sand, right? Well, you know, that dry stuff on the ground that the cactuses grow out of, that stuff. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take a box with lines because I, I have been writing stuff in on Sundays, things that have happened during the week. I should be using them for positives, but I'm fighting that whole trying to stay positive thing. This is on just a wee bit crooked. Not like it's just difficult right now. I'm just trying to get through my day. That is basically what I am doing. Okay, so maybe I should determine right now, this box right here is to write in positive things from this week. Okay, then on top of this box, I'm going to take this one sticker that I had cut off and I had cut it crooked. Okay, it's on straight. It is not perfect along the side here. And I do not know what I did with the piece that I cut off the end. I want to put the orangey boxes all the way across. So this looks like the sand and I want to put them higher and lower and I'm not going to attach them to each other because I want it to look kind of mountainy. Does that make sense? So that it's kind of going up and down kind of thing. I don't know that this box will fit. I could put this box in this way. Yeah, let's put this box in this way. We uh, close enough. Okay, and then Wednesday. Actually, look, let's use. I'm gonna bring in two stickers here. That one and this one. No, let's bring in a bigger one so it just goes up higher. Bring in the square one so it goes up a little higher. And then we'll bring in two smaller ones. I think this one is really crooked. Yeah, it is. They're both quote crooked, but this one's really crooked. Uh-oh, this one's ripping. I don't have time to play with it. A lot of times when I rip them, I'll just use them. I don't really care when it's my own planner, but that one was, that was ripped when, that one ripped too much. Okay, so let's just get the extra paper off the edges there. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do is put in two, or maybe I'll just put in this one header type one. And then 
thinking, do I do, I haven't done one big one, just there. I could end it with another full box. I like this side better than this side. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna go with it, but I am gonna put it on straighter. So this header, actually, I'm going to put over here because, so we have to monitor Daisy's blood or sugar levels one day. Every two hours, we have to do a blood test, a sugar test and write down her numbers. And those are going to be on Saturday. Yeah, there's something about this that I just don't like. Saturdays, so that my husband is actually home and not out of town. Because my husband works out of town Monday to Fridays. So I'm just going to put that one there in case we have to do it again. Well, we will have to do it again next Saturday. So what it is, is they test the blood sugars to make sure that they're giving enough insulin. So if her blood sugars are still too high, then she needs more insulin. If her blood sugars are low or something, then she needs less insulin. So yeah. Every two hours for 12 hours. Okay, I kind of like that. That gives me the sense that there's, you know, orangey colored mountains in the background. North of Phoenix, Sedona has these amazing orange mountains. They're gorgeous. That is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous little little town it's on the way to the Grand Canyon because we drove from Phoenix up to the Grand Canyon so we saw Sedona it was amazing okay I think I'm gonna go one more box here or maybe a couple three little ones maybe just if I put three little ones then it's kind of like my little a little to do list because there are quite a few header boxes I think I was crooked on that one does that seem too high let's see here I'm going to bring this one down lower I have lines but do you think I could get these things straight I don't know yeah I'm going to bring these down a little Yep, absolutely bringing it down. So I'm going to put three little boxes in here. So that will be a... Those will be to-dos for the week. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to do the mountainous look. And I'm going to use my inking. I've been using it a lot lately. Do not know how this is going to look at all. Haven't practiced. <laughs> Haven't tried. But here goes nothing. This may just ruin the whole thing. We will see. Actually, it's not horrible. I've made worse messes. 
doing this. And it's okay if I go over the boxes because you can write on top of the ink. One thing about this is I can make rolling hills, easy enough. Pointed ones, not so much. It's not perfect, but I th I'm gonna keep going. Let's put this piece of paper under here. I wanna line this up straight too. So I'm just kind of using the edge of the sponge dabber here. Okay. I will fix it. I'll go back and fix some of the spots. I'll just do like a smaller one in here. I may not fix the whole thing up while on camera because that may take a little bit of time. That does not look like a rolling type anything. This is also a color that I don't use all that often. So it is very juicy compared to a lot of the other colors that I have. So there's a few things you could actually do here. You could take just a black pen, just kind of outline it and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I, I can't, I, I find that I just mess things up when I try and try and do these things. I can't get these to go to a point really either. Oh, that's a bit pointier. Okay, so I have to go in here. And we're just going to kind of make a line. So this would have been smarter to do before you put the stickers on without a doubt, like this sticker right here. I definitely have to lift this one up in order to do this, to get this kind of finished off here. Uh, it's kind of messy. It's kind of messy. Actually, I think I should go all the way down. I 
Yep. Yeah. I know I've been doing a lot of inking lately, but it just, I don't know, just seems to be working for me. Okay, I think I'm done playing with it. So this is my Sedona Desert. It's, it actually looks better in person than it does on the camera. So I decided to bring it all the way down and I decided to do all the edges of the boxes just so it kind of blends in a bit more. And I like it. I think you could probably do a lot more with it if you're good with blending and stuff. Like add in maybe a little bit darker, uh, a darker color in here. Also, you know, if you had the same kind of colored uh, pencil crayon or felt marker, something, you could go around the edges. Because, yeah, I know Sedona, it's usually much rockier, but of course I'm dealing with a round piece of foam there. So I think I like it. I don't know if it's what I had in mind. It probably would be a heck of a lot smarter to do the inking before you put the boxes on. But yeah, why do things the easy way? Okay, so then just on the top, I feel like up here is boring, for lack of better words. So I think I am going to use Live Love Posh Functionally Chic Orange Blooms. And I think I'm going to use the days of the week and put them on the top. Let's just see what that looks like. I have Sunday here. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's get Monday first. And if I remember, these are, are they slightly smaller or are they the same size? They're basically the same size. Okay. So I'm gonna put them, do I want them lower? Or do I want them a little higher? Just realized how low I had put this one compared to the Sunday. Let's see, try a little bit higher. Look at this, I got another chunk of sticker stuck to me. I don't even know where that came from. Uh, yeah, I like that. Monday. I always have a heck of a time trying to line these up because I do want a little tiny bit of space between them. Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, so I went through my summer mishmash book. That's the 11 seasonal books that I turned into spring, summer, fall, winter, and birthdays. Anyways, I pulled a couple just oddball stickers. I was thinking I wanted like a sun up there. So I'm going to put in this one. It says enjoy life. I'm going to line it up with the days of the week stickers or I'm going to try to line it up with the days of the week stickers you know me and going straight and lining things up never works I do have a line to follow there I think I have to pick this up a bit here no don't be doing that There we go. Okay, so how does that look like? Does that look like the sun? I think that looks sunny to me. So then this, these two little stickers say endless sun and endless fun. So 
I was kind of thinking do something like this and like that kind of in the same area and then the only other thing I was thinking was putting bullet points at the top but I think I'm gonna leave it blank I almost forgot I've got the little two flowers left so I already cut the white off and I am just going to cut this a little flatter and I'm gonna put it down here And then this one, I think, because there's a blue flower there, I feel like maybe I need to put it, maybe I'll just put it down here. Yeah, we'll do that. And the last sticker was this purple leafy one. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna incorporate it in. So I went and I really cut the white off. And I'm actually just gonna throw it in right here, just like that. I was trying it over here and up here and yeah. Okay. So I think I'm done. I'm not gonna put bullet points in. If I need to write something in there, I just will. So that is it. Let's have our close up look. So this is the sun. And enjoy life you can see it's kind of sloppy but you know how you get that kind of dusty dirty feeling that's what it feels like to me <laughs> so if you haven't been to arizona and it's a little bit windy yeah you feel like you're eating sand so yeah these stickers cactus stickers are so much fun love them all right, so if you're new here, I do a lot of different things. Obviously, this is like a scene. I do functional stuff, and I will use Dollar Tree stuff, scrapbooking stuff, and of course, I have Happy Planner books and sticker books. So yeah, I use a ton of stuff. So check out some of my other videos, and please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody else for coming back. You guys are awesome. Hit the like button. Tell me what you think in the comments. And please, please share with your planner friends, your planner groups, your Facebook groups. I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely wonderful day and bye-bye for now.